What's up guys, welcome back to The Road Vet. Today, we're gonna have another video for you and we're gonna be lowering the car on the stock bolts. Now, I have my friend, or my cousin, he's gonna be doing it for me in his bay at his work. So, I'm kinda limited on how much I can show you uh, just because, you know, for safety reasons and they don't like it when people are in the bays. But hey, I was able to film uh, a lot of it while he was doing it. May not be real close, but at least we can show you this. But I hope you guys enjoyed it because I definitely do. But let's go ahead and get to the action. That is what he is changing, right? There, that bolt, right there. That's what he's screwing. And he just put some pressure on that, on this part right there. But, called in yesterday and left. guys the bolts have been counterclockwise adjusted and everything looks good so I guess we put on the wheels you can kind of see it right there that bolt right there sorry I couldn't really film it too much but I had to kind of stay back while he worked uh, doing this Uh, I can't wait to get all my ground effects. Oh boy, okay. Looked inside it and a uh, little bit more rust on the inside. That's pretty clean. All right, guys. So here we are in the aftermath. I have the car brought back home after it was lowered on the stock bolts. Now, before, I was able to stick pretty much four fingers in the wheel well as you can see i can kind of do th three i guess maybe two 
somewhere around there. Now it could still be settling, who knows, might just need to drive it around a little bit, but before it was four on all four corners. Let's check the back. Eh, barely three. I can stick two a little bit further down, but definitely not four. So that's what it's looking like. Same thing for this side. Before, it used to be four fingers. Now I can barely do three, but I can definitely stick two all the way in if you can see that. So barely three, but two will go farther in. And that's kind of, you know, depending on what angle you're doing. But so, and same thing with the front one here. So before it used to be four. Now I can't even do th really three. It's pretty much two if you want to just be able to do it all the way. So two fingers on all four corners, pretty much. So overall, I mean, lower than on the stock bolts, I think it's pretty, it's pretty good overall. So if you're all thinking about doing it, I would probably do it. It's a free, a free way to get your C7 lower on the stock bolts if you don't want to go too, too low with aftermarket style. Uh, but I think it pretty much worked. So all you need to do is just lift the car up on the jack points, put some tension on the leaf spring, and then have a 10 millimeter socket or wrench and just go counterclockwise on the bolt until it no longer turns and you'll see it kind of keep going up. And from that point, then it's pretty much finished as far as moving the spring and adjusting it or the spring, the bolt. So I think it looks better than what it did before. So I don't want it considerably low, maybe in the future, but I think this is a pretty good ride height for this. And I mean, remember, we're going to get all the side skirts, the front chin spoiler, everything, all that, all that other stuff. So I think we'll be good as far as that. But I just wanted to make this quick video, guys, just to kind of show you it being done. And we'll see about all the other mods that we'll do. So. But, I hope y'all enjoyed it. All right guys, don't forget, we're gonna be having a lot more stuff done in the upcoming month, uh, weeks and months. So you stay tuned, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We have a lot more coming this way, but y'all stay awesome, okay? Until the next one, see y'all, peace.